It's all a tale of have too many for some and have too few for others. The fight for parents in Norwich and Norfolk to get their children into the best high school have left a split of waiting lists and empty desks. It's the Sprouston Community High and it's because it had a good reputation. It was local to us, so and my husband went there when he was little. So we, we felt um, we've chosen to go to Notre Dame School because we feel that keeping in accordance to the sort of structure of his learning and the various different rules and just as I said the structure which will help him further life. My son goes to Case to High um, and I sent him there because it had a good reputation. 19 of the 54 high schools in the county have filled all of their places for the new intake. Some have long waiting lists too. Schools like the Jane Austen College in Norwich has a waiting list of 70. Whereas at Wyndham College, they've got 97 people on their waiting list for just 82 available spaces. But three are more than half empty. Stalham High has 52% unfilled spaces for the new school year. Seal Park Academy in Norwich has 60%. And the Hewitt Academy in the city is 76%. They have 43 of their spaces filled out of 180, meaning 137 unfilled places. It's also often seen as a test of popularity for the schools. I mean, if you have one school, say, City of Norwich, who took 40 extra pupils this year and oh, have, another, have a waiting list as well, um, compared to the Hewitt, it's probably the most obvious case, where they've got 76% of places empty. It's hard not to reach the conclusion that obviously one school is more popular than the other. The Hewitt Academy has been run by the Inspiration Trust Group since 2015, who also run some other schools in the area that have some of the highest demand for places. Principal Tom Leverage is saying he's confident the school's moving towards rising student numbers and rising standards too. And around a million pounds has been invested there by the Trust in things like new science labs and new uniforms. Reputation, I think, does go a long way. I mean, the Hewitt has had a, tr a troubled few years. It's had quite low GCSE results. The Hewitt School, before it became an academy, was in special measures by Ofsted. Um, the, the school role there has dropped every year since 2008, so it's not a new thing, but it is obviously quite a worrying picture. So for high schools at the top of the list, it's a reassurance they are doing something right. For those struggling for numbers, the empty desks may suggest there's lessons for them to learn. Neil Perry, Mustard TV, Norwich.